I just got done watching a video. And it was like um, three videos that um, pretty much stood out. One was by Tito the Fresh. Shout outs to you out there, Tito. One by I Am Ball. Shout outs to you out there as well. And then my man, Big Boss Calvin. Now, there was this one video that Big Boss Calvin, 83. I hope I got that right. And it was by a young lady who had tattoos. I'm not going to say this woman's name, but anyway, man, this woman said things that was really, really, it's not so much disturbing anymore, but it's gotten to the point where I can see why that, that these women hate men. Now the worst kind of women that hates men the most is black women. I'm not going to say all black women, but a good majority of them, they hate men. Now back to this tattoo female. Now obviously to me, she did say that if you, I forgot what it was and I don't know how to rephrase it, but if you're a man of your word, you should keep your word or whatever the hell may be. Here's what I have to say about that. Now, to me, I'm just going to come out and say this, man. The majority of these women don't have no morals. And the majority of these women are savages by nature. That's just what it is. Yeah, they're loyal, all right. They are loyal to their feelings, and that's it. Once you understand that part, then you know the rest. And the key for you fellas out there is to master yourself. You got to master yourself. That's the main key. Because not only you have to make decisions for yourself, but you also have to make decisions where for her as well. That's just how it's going to be. Because let's face it, technically, the only maturity that most of these women will reach up to is the, is the age of 18. That's it. Technically, you're dealing with an 18-year-old. Now, obviously, I got to ask you women a little something. Since you women are the choosers, what goes through your head when you choose these men? Now, I understand the confidence. That's one thing. But then again, you want a guy that's exciting? I mean, to me, only excitement only lasts for about maybe a good moment, and that's it. It's done. But then, you know, do you sit up here and do you honestly go with your superficial situations? I mean, do you honestly want a good father for your children? In this day and age, it's, it's not the case at all. I'm starting to realize that the majority of you women can't pick for shit. You, you just can't do it. And I involved mentioned something about uh, arranged marriages, which, do not get me wrong, it might save a lot of problems. Because right now, the majority of these women can't pick men for shit. They, they just can't do it. They can't pick men for shit. I mean, that's just the bottom line. They let their feelings, they let their emotions get the best of them, and by the end, I mean, think about it. You're obviously dealing with a man that's really doesn't, it's not going to stick around, but then again, half of you will sell you, will settle for your simps. Or do you women pick a bad boy to try to convert him into a simp? I mean, I got, I got to ask that question. What goes to your head when you pick these men? I mean, that's the thing I got to ask. I mean, what goes to your head? I mean, is it exciting? Do you like the edge of danger? Because it sounds like to me that you like to be lied to. I mean, there's no other way to put this. I mean, you you got to be 
wanted to be lied to. Because the majority of you women are not going to learn or don't want to deal with logic. That's just what it is. I mean, let's face it. I mean, I mean, is that what you do when you go out of the house dressing in, in tramp stamps and slutty clothes and cleavage hanging out and stuff? I mean, what goes through your brain? When you when you when you do these things, I mean, requiring minds wants to know, including me. I mean, I must be dumb to, to to you know fall for it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hey, I like a girl in a miniskirt, and you know, and what and a halter top. I mean, don't get me wrong. Of course, I'm gonna look. But I mean, are you trying to really get a winner here or what? I mean, I like to know myself. I mean, let's face the facts. I mean, it sounds like you women just love to be lied to. Bottom line. I mean, do you go out and get these bums to control? I mean, because we already know for the fact you don't like a man's leadership. We already know. We, we've sat, sat a long time ago. You guys will go follow that feminist ideology bullshit. We know that. And if you women claim to not be feminist, we all know you 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 will you will definitely because you don't want no man to control your ass. That's just you don't want his leadership. That's just the bottom line. But that's the thing. It, it just baffles me. And it's gotten to the point where I don't even like saying how do you women on the street anymore. Because y'all have been proving how disingenuous you are. I mean, do you like wearing less revealing clothing? Do you like the attention so much? Well, then again, you know, you like to be what? You seek more validation than anything. I mean, that's just the reality of it, man. I mean, you like validation that bad? You like being noticed and shit? I swear to God, man, this Western world is, it is a trip. And I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, some of you women out there, y'all, we can understand why you don't wear no panties, which we all know that deep down inside, y'all wear some of the most tightest shit ever. Then by the time that you got to take that shit off, you got to give air to down there. And then again, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you if your pussy smell anyway. Y'all be wearing some tight ass shit, man. Tight ass shit, man. Half you guys don't even take care of down there. And that's sad. I don't care how good looking she is. She, she can, this girl can be sexy as hell and have a smelly ass Smelly ass vagina. Vajay. But you gotta ask yourself a question. I mean, what goes to your head when you pick these dudes? I mean, what goes through your head? I don't care if you don't pick me. I mean, technically I don't even care. I mean, cause you win some, you lose some. But then again, half you women, man, y'all y'all can't take rejection for shit. Y'all 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 can't do it. We we know this. And then I seen another law the other day where this guy was married to a that this woman was married to a simp, and this guy calls himself a male uh, a male feminist. He just lets his wife go out and go out and what? Have sex with other men? Other men? Then I got to ask yourself with some of these men, I mean, what makes you think? I mean, do you obviously like the fact that your woman's fucking other men? I know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should not have her fuck other men, but I mean, let's face the facts. This chick's probably going to look for something bigger and better. Like I said, it's got to the point, man, where some of these women out here, they're just disingenuous as hell. It, it, it's got to the point where Dating in the Western world is going to get tougher 
and it's going to get harder. And you know what? There was this one brother telling me some crap about how, you know, how I could pick a good woman and stuff. And let me break this down to you. It's going to be harder to pick good women out here. And that's just reality. It's going to get a lot tougher. So with that, I might try to load this on YouTube. I might load this on my private video. This is Carl Mitchell. I'm signing off.